Hello everyone, this is Tim Hanway, the Performance Director here at Velocity Sports Performance Norwood. First, thank you so much for clicking on this link. This is your seven day Kickstarter program. The goal of this program is to get you moving and start building some new habits. We all know here at Velocity how challenging it can be to start a good, solid training exercise regime, especially if it's been a while. Our goal in seven days is to basically set the reset button, but also give you the tools necessary to succeed. So let's start off today with day one. What is it all about? You have a few simple jobs. Number one, I'm gonna ask you to download a particular application called MyFitnessPal. Just simply go into any smartphone or device, download it, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna help you track food and calories, which you are gonna see for the remainder of the week is gonna be a cornerstone of this program. The other thing I want you to do is prepare to weigh yourself tomorrow. We need to get an idea of what your calorie intake is gonna be for this challenge, and in order to do that, what we ask you to do is get an accurate reading. Now, the key though is you need to do this in a fasted state. So we ask that you do this first thing in the morning upon waking up. As soon as you put food in your mouth, you drink water, you try to do it later in the day, those numbers can be off. So again, I want you to prepare yourself to weigh yourself tomorrow. Finally, you are gonna do a home workout today, which I'm gonna to present to you in a moment. The point of this is getting you moving. It's a minimalist approach. You don't need any equipment. You just need yourself and the will to succeed and have a great session. So. Welcome to your day one workout. As I already mentioned, this is a minimalist approach to training because the whole point of this is we fully appreciate the fact that it might have been some time before you've actually trained. So in taking this minimalist approach, we're simply just gonna do some very basic body weight exercises. What I will say, however, before I go any further, is that if you do happen to have a training regime and you are constantly active, um, feel free to reach out to us because we can give you something that's a little bit more complex, a little bit more advanced. So again, either click on the comment section below, reply to this email, but like we said, this is about just simply getting you moving. Now, the one thing I also will say too is health and safety always are sacrosanct. So if you have any issues, you experience any pain, anything whatsoever, again, always consult with a physician before undertaking any form of exercise training. But that being said, let's get into it. So, Jesse, we're gonna demonstrate some very basic stretches because it's been a while. We need to make sure that the joints are moving, they're behaving, and quite frankly, you're just feeling okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is what's called a couch stretch. So we're just gonna simulate this bench just like your couch because it's about the same height as you would find in most kind of couch settings within your living room. So all you need to do here is you're just gonna try to get kind of this 90 degree bend. You're gonna have a decent kind of upper body posturing position. And Jesse, all I'm gonna ask you to do is just try to gently bring this knee out towards my hand, tracking over the toe. And what you're gonna do is you should feel a stretch in kind of that trail kind of hip flexor. We do a lot of sitting around, and this is a way of just stretching it out and just gently bring it back, okay? And just give me two more. Perfect, easy. And notice he's keeping this nice, good posture. And Jesse, can you please just switch legs for me? Try not to fall down. Okay? Same thing. Another little trick, too, is you just want to keep this back glute or butt cheek as tight as you can. It's just going to give you just a little bit more kind of integrity in terms of your posture, and it's just going to make a cleaner movement. Now, being fully appreciative of the fact that getting that trail leg onto this couch could be a bit problematic or discomforting for certain folks, absolutely fine. Don't need it. It's the same type of concept. Now we're just in this kind of 90-90 knee bend position, and you're going to do exactly the same for me. But notice, too, that his posture is nice and erect. He's not collapsing forward. We're just trying to get this good, solid stretch. And like I said, you know you're doing it right because in this case, it's that right pocket. It's where he would put his hand in his pocket. He's going to feel that nice pull. So that is our first stretch, which is what we call a couch stretch. Now, next stretch, we're gonna do something called a child's pose, okay? So if anybody's ever done any type of yoga, you might experience this awesome stretch. Let's see what it looks like. So key with this is you're just gonna to try to sit down and just try to elongate your body as best you can. Okay, what's nice is it's gonna open up the facet joints within the spine. So again, a lot of people have back pain. It's one of the leading causes of pain and discomfort in this country. We wanna fix that too. And Jesse, I'm just gonna ask you to take just eight, eight deep breaths in, okay? So if he were basically a canister, I wanna to try to feel his rib cage expand, I wanna to try to feel his back expand. It's almost like he swallowed a beach ball and he's simply just trying to inflate it with every breath. These look great. Cool. Okay, now Jesse, in the same position, okay, what I'm gonna ask you to do is I'm gonna ask you to take your right hand, place it behind your head like so. So you can even just kinda of look at me if you want. Kind of turn there you go. So yeah, we're just kind of in that position. And you're just gonna collapse onto that opposite forearm as well. Okay? So 
Another thing that we find people have a lot of kind of back pain, we're going to do a simple thoracic spine exercise, a T-spine. And Jesse, all I'm going to have you do is just take a deep breath in, and then I want you to just try to gently just rotate by turning, kind of twisting your body, okay? So the key is, if he were to have an imaginary line from his nose, chin down to his belly button, as he's turning and twisting, he's not breaking that line, okay? Now, Jesse has some pretty good range here. It doesn't matter if you can come all the way up. It doesn't matter if you can only come up just an inch. We're just trying to loosen off that back. Because like I said, this is gonna remove some pain and discomfort, and if you get moving better and feeling better, it's gonna make a difference with your program. And Jesse, let's just try a few on the other side, please. That's it, so same thing. And one thing I will say, a key with this, is you wanna make sure that your butt, hips, are sat down as far back as you can. This is gonna lock your lower spine or your lumbar spine, making sure that it's truly this mid-back, this thoracic spine, which is doing all the work. Perfect, okay. All right, final stretch we're gonna do, Jesse. I'm just gonna ask you to lie flat on your back for me, okay? We're gonna do what's called hamstring flossing. So, knees are gonna be bent in this case, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna take both hands, you're gonna place them behind your right knee in this case, all right? Toe's gonna be gently pointed up, and all I'm gonna have you do is simply just straighten and then bend your knee. We're gonna do a total of eight, okay? And try to time your breath so you're exhaling as you're stretching. And in doing so, we're simply just again loosening off this hamstring muscle group as well. Again, we're specifically targeting areas that we know can be a little bit tight, a little bit problematic for folks, especially if they haven't done physical activity for some time. Cool, let's switch sides. Good. And one more for good measure. Perfect. Okay, and relax. So, goal with this is to go through this entire sequence two to three times, and you should be ready to work out and feel good. Okay, so now we've just had our little warm up. Body should be feeling good. We've mobilized certain key structures, joints within the body. Now we can get to the business end of the session. So, we have selected five exercises, and we're gonna do this in, type, in a type of circuit format. So the key distinguishing factor is that everything is timed. You're doing this as a function of time. So the first exercise, which just so happens to be a hip bridge, we are gonna perform for 30 seconds. Basically, every single exercise you do is for 30 seconds, trying to do as many repetitions as you can in that time with about 20 seconds rest in between. The only exercise where we double that and go 60 seconds is the last exercise, which happens to be a bodyweight squat. But, just for simplicity's sake, we're gonna demonstrate just about 10 seconds of each exercise. So, first one we're gonna do is a hip bridge. Knees are gonna be bent, hands are gonna be flat, feet are gonna be flat, okay? And what you're gonna do in this case is driving through your hands, driving through your heels, you are just gonna try to lift your hips as high as you can towards the ceiling. Squeeze and lower back down, okay? Rinse and repeat. Let's try to do as many as you can in five more seconds. Four, three, two, one and ease off. So I think a good kind of target number is kind of anywhere from 10 to 15 in that 30 second period. Perfect. Okay, next, Jesse, I'm gonna kindly ask you to flip onto your front and adopt what we call a quadruped position. Very fancy way of saying just being on all fours, okay? Key with a good quadruped position, we have a nice flat neutral back, okay? Hands are just about shoulder width apart, knees just about hip width apart. And what we wanna try to do in this position is we are simply gonna take our right arm, we're gonna take our left knee, and if we can, we're gonna to try to touch that opposite elbow to knee and simply straighten out, okay? So it's that touch, straighten. If you can't quite get your elbow to knee, that is absolutely fine. You just get as close as you can and focus on just being strong and stable, okay? Let's try doing the other side. Good. So the key with this is we're also loosening off certain parts of our body, but we're also focusing on some really good coordination, balance, as, where, as well as core strength and control. Fantastic, okay, moving on. Plank. All right, three, two, one. So with the plank, same exact thing as the bird dog. We wanna have this kind of neutral spine position, but if we wanna get the most out of our plank, here's a few little hacks and tips. First of all, what I want you to do, Jesse, is I want you to take your elbows, I want you to really dig them in to the ground in this case, okay? But when you dig them in, I want you to try to pull them down and back towards your feet, 
okay? Try to straighten your legs a little bit more for me too. Okay, butt down, so again, almost like a dinner table. Now the key with this, in adopting this, all right, it's gonna cause all these muscles to really fire and engage. And likewise, we are just trying to hold for about 30 seconds. You can relax now. Push-ups, so everybody knows a push-up, but again, we have certain conditions that we wanna uphold. So if we can, we're gonna start off in this extended position, and the key with the push-up is you wanna to try to lower your nose, your chin, chest, belly button, you want everything coming down in unison in a nice controlled movement. So Jesse, show us what a really good push-up is. Perfect, let's try one more. Now, let's be honest, push-ups are challenging, absolutely fine. So one way we make it easy is we simply just collapse down to our knees, let's try that. And one more. Now, again, being appreciative of the fact that it might have been a while since you've done these, if you still find that to be a little bit challenging, what we can also do is we can even just focus on purely just lowering ourselves and then just kind of bringing ourselves back and resetting. Bottom line is you're gonna build some great upper body strength and condition your body for some more workouts to come. Okay, next, body weight squats. Okay, now the key with the squat, this is a really good foundational functional movement. What we want to do in most cases is get our feet just about shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed out, because for most people this tends to kind of open up their hips. And if we actually use our couch, or our makeshift couch as an example, actually Jeff, easy thing you just take a step back for me, I just want you to simply just sit gently on the bench, okay? Tap and back up, cool. And let's just do another five. So the key with this is we can actually use a bench, a couch, a chair. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get kind of our hips, thighs about parallel to our knees. Now, assuming that's too easy or you feel that you can advance yourself, we can take a big step away from it. And now, Jesse, same concept, but I want you to try to sit even a little bit lower, as long as your range will allow you to. Perfect, okay? Key with this is you notice his head is up, his eyes is up, his chest is up. I could basically read whatever logo is on his shirt, and this tells me he's in a good squat position. And as I mentioned, unlike the other exercises, this one we're actually doing for 60 seconds. Okay, so you've just accomplished your first workout, so congratulations on that. Just in setting yourself up for tomorrow, this is where you need to download MyFitnessPal. Again, you don't need to do anything with it. We simply ask that you download it. And also, too, we want to hear from you. So if you do have any questions, concerns, uh, if there's any way that we can help, please either respond to this email or even just simply respond to the comments section below, and we're here for you. So I look forward to presenting day two.